you don't need four seats, then either the Cayman or the Boxer 981, for me, are the perfect size for our roads. Hi, this is Raj from MR Sports Cars. In this video, I've got a lovely Boxster GTS in a very rare color, lime gold metallic, which I've just sold. Um, it took me over a year to get hold of this car because I believe it's the only one in the country, in the UK, lime gold metallic on a Boxster GTS. Obviously, if someone else has got one, please do let me know. But as far as I know, this is the only one. Um, I did think I'd have it for a little while because it is such a stunning color, but it is very extroverted. It's not a one for people who prefer the agate gray, the more subtle colors. This is definitely an eye catcher when you see it driving down the road and you hear it. And, uh, but it, it was very popular. A lot of people wanted to come and see it because it is such an unusual color. Inter interestingly, it was actually, despite it being very rare, it was the color on the front of the brochure of the standard 981 Boxster when they came out. So it obviously had appeal and it, it is an eye-catching color, really shows the lines really well. Now today, obviously I've sold the car, promise the owner I'm gonna put a full tank of Super Unleaded in it, so that's what I'm gonna go, go and do now. And I'm also gonna talk about how it drives along the way. As you can see in the light, absolutely stunning color. It's a very light metallic gold, different to the gold that's on the badge. And this is what I've shown the owner. It's a very different, that's very orangey. This is a lime gold in the sense of it having that sort of green metallic in it as well as, as, well as gold. Absolutely beautiful in the light. So striking with the satin platinum wheels mohair black hood the interiors are really nice as well um, half Alcantara extended leather across the dash the doors with stitch contrast uh, contrast stitching rhodium silver in this one but you could have uh, guards red which I don't think would go very well with this car but uh, yeah really striking interior as well so i'm going to go for a drive now okay so it took me over a year to get this car as i said and it was definitely worth the wait absolutely stunning condition car only done just over eleven thousand miles has been serviced every two years despite having that low mileage close the gate the GTS's for me are represent the high point in the Boxster 981 Cayman 981 and 911 991 in terms of having the ultimate road going version of those particular models they all have um, a power kit fitted so they all have a little bit more power than standard same engine they have a lot of options bundled in such as the extended leather but with half Alcantara they have unique parts such as the embroidered headrest rather than embossed and obviously with the GTS um, logo and they have just a different presence on the road because they have the aero kits that were around at the time, which could be specced on the S models or the base models even of all the respective cars. Now I'm actually, why well, I've got Boxster, why am I driving with the roof up? And this is a great thing about the Boxster is 
even at up to 30, 35 miles an hour, you can get the roof down or up if it starts raining. Interestingly, this one has, they all have a mesh um, wind deflector from the factory, but this mesh wind deflector has got a smaller webbing, so you can actually see through it when you look through the rear view mirror. It's something I haven't noticed on any other 981 Boxster. I don't know whether it's a retrofit or an after aftermarket, but I, it, it's got all the same Porsche uh, model numbers on, so maybe it was a revision. They decided to make it out of a slightly thinner material that you could actually see through, because the other one is a, it's a bit hard to see through, when you, especially if you've got the roof up, just looking through that rear glass screen. A lot of why I bought this car is because it had that lime gold metallic which I hadn't seen on any other GTS and also the low mileage but also it's been serviced every two years just like it should have been even having the spark plugs changed twice in 11,000 miles drive belt all of that stuff all documented at Porsche main dealers so it's an impeccable history car just one previous owner as well so great provenance and I just decided this is a car I would love to stock, do a video like this in, and also find a lovely new owner for. Now the GTS is in terms of that power kit, they have an additional 20 horsepower. So the S models, 3.4 litre flat six, have 315 horsepower. This has 335. It's also at a higher red line that peak power is delivered. So the 3.4S has 315 at peak, at, at RPM of 6,700. Whereas this is basically at the red line, it's 7.4. The peak power is delivered, 3.35. So you have to work a bit more to get that extra power. But at the lower revs, it's still got the same power as an S. So it's not like it feels gutless and then all of a sudden it comes in. And it's the same with the torque. So the torque is, 266 in the standard S, whereas this is 280, so 14 foot pound more, and again it's at a higher RPM. Um, 4850 instead of 4600. So I feel like they've also retuned the exhaust because it does sound more ferocious if that's possible, because the S sounds amazing with the sports exhaust as well. They sound amazing regardless of whether you have a sports exhaust or not. They're so tuneful. In my opinion, I've probably said it before, but if you don't need four seats, then either the Cayman or the Boxer 981, for me, are the perfect size for our roads super practical with the front and rear boots with the Cayman you get it's it's a basic two-door hatchback with the Boxster you've still got a very decent sized rear boot behind the engine which is under the the hood I mean just listen to how it sounds I mean I'm not even going very fast and I've just got it in sport mode. I haven't got the switchable suspension enabled. Such a glorious drive. And it just feels so special. All of that, those additions that make up the GTS and how it's different to the S, they just add something that's just so you, can, you, you, you can't measure it in, in the figures. It, it just feels another level of specialness. That GTS package has really sort of improved on an already amazing package. And I would urge you to, if you've, if you've got the budget for one, to go and try one because they are such phenomenal cars on the road. full auto, full manual, or if you just want to play with the gears, then they're just brilliant. So that's where I'll leave this video. Thank you for watching.